Hey everyone, Bry2J here with episode 31 of Yay Toys, and today's review is a great one. It's on the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Series Juggernaut X-Men Wave, and what a way to start, the Wolverine. So here's Wolverine, and I'm really excited that they made a Wolverine. Uh, I mean, I'm really stoked that we're getting a Juggernaut, I'm stoked that we got an X-Men Wave, um... But the fact that we got Wolverine. Um, the last time I owned a Wolverine Marvel Legend was the Toy Biz ones from about 10 years ago. Um, had both versions, had the blue and yellow, had the brown and gold. Um, big fan of both costumes. I didn't care which version of Wolverine we got. I'm just happy we got. Um, this figure, he is pretty sick. Probably my favorite one in the figure series so far. Um, I mean, favorite one of the ones I own so far. When I eventually get Deadpool, uh, I'm going to be, uh, really excited. Because everything I've seen on that figure, mind blown. Um, so yeah. This Wolverine, uh, I'm the only flaw that I see in this Wolverine is that the claws should have been more chrome to go with the uh, with the paint job, um, you know, right on the knuckles there. But uh, everything else, I mean, I'm really happy. There's a few scuffs here or there, but you know, I'm not picky. I'm just really glad that we got Wolverine. Uh, this figure, um, mine's a little tight, so it's kind of hard for me to stand. So if you see him wobbling and stuff, you know, don't take it as a sign of not getting him. You know, it's just, it's also the thing that I'm using to have him stand on. Not exactly the best. It's seen better days. Uh, it's, it's seen about 30 other videos plus... Uh, videos from the hashtag geek approved channel too. So uh, it's been a while. I gotta update my little board there. But anyway, so while Wolverine dances, um, <laughs> like I said, we have fun here in Yay Toys. So uh, this Wolverine figure, he stands at about five and a half, a little over five and a half inches tall. Uh, that's, you know, pretty neat considering Wolverine is short. Um, so yeah, uh, Wolverine has been, he's always been my favorite of the X-Men. Um, so yeah, like, so the fact that I got a Wolverine, especially in the brown and gold, again, I would have been happy with the blue and yellow, but I love this outfit. Uh... It's kind of a flashback to uh, when I was a kid, like the old X-Men arcade game and stuff. But anyway, so this Wolverine figure has a lot of articulation too. So he can look up pretty decent, looks down really nice, uh, head can go all the way around. He can move his arms out about that much. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, pretty good. Uh... He does have the butterfly joint again, just like uh, like the pizza Spidey and stuff. Like they have the butterfly joint. I love when they do that. Um, he does have full range of the arms, so that's cool too. Upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which is always lovely when they do that. Uh, he does have hinged wrists as well as they go all the way around. He does have ab crunch, and he can bend back sort of down really far, though. Uh, he does have waist articulation also, which is always lovely when they do both. Um, he can spread about that far, uh, can kick up decent, back not so much, but that's fine. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, I love when they do that. Um, he does have top of the boot rotation as well. 
He does have ankle pivot, which is always lovely. He has the hinged ankle, which is great too. Um, so yeah, those are all the pieces, uh, or points of articulation that this figure has. Um, so yeah, uh, only thing I wish they gave him a bit, like a bit of stubble, you know, it's Wolverine always has like the, the little six o'clock shadow, not even five o'clock. Um, so yeah, that's my one gripe outside of the, uh, non-painted claws. So... They do use, like, this gray, you know, mold, uh, this gray uh, plastic. Looks good. I do like it, although I've seen pics of the painted claws, and I'm really considering doing that. Um, and the claws come out, too. So, like, if you wanted to, like, pull one out, um, here, we'll just carefully pull that. We use this one. Pull that one out. So, like, you could pull one out or two out or whatever, and if you want to have, like, a diorama or, you know, take a really cool pic of Wolverine with, like, a henchman, and he's like, you have three chances, you know, like, and maybe, like, take this one out here and then put, like, dude's uh, chin in between, you know, that, you know, is really cool that you're able to do that. Um... So, yeah, I'm really happy with this figure. Uh, so, being that he's a Build-A-Figure, uh, well, part of a Build-A-Figure wave, let's talk about the Build-A-Figure piece. Here's the Juggernaut helmet um, with the really awesome face inside there. The cracked tooth, the creepy blue eyes. I love the helmet itself, like the, the all the dings and the black wash. Uh, you cannot take the helmet off. It is uh, a non-removable helmet. That's fine. My Toy Biz one used to get lost all the time. So the fact that, you know, it is two separate pieces glued together, you could see through it. You know, that is cool that it's just not... 100% molded together because that's kind of cheesy in my opinion so I like this can't wait to see what it looks like built now as for the figure itself so Wolverine comes with a right and a left fist with the claws retracted so that's pretty neat to take them out same as all the other legends pop out the, uh, the hand that you want and take the hand that you want to use and just plug it right in um mine has an issue where if you bend the wrist a certain way the hand feels like it's going to pop out a little nothing a little acrylic can't fix um i know my buddy shardimus prime had an issue like that uh but my buddy x manny 87 did not so i think it's like every other wolverine has an issue it's cool. I'm going to mostly display them with the claws out anyway. And eventually, I think I am going to paint these claws uh, like more of a chrome to match the uh, the knuckles. Um, so, yeah. Uh, well, that's it for this video. Uh, I think I've rambled on enough. Definitely buy this figure. It is worth it, especially if you're a fan of Wolverine. If you're a fan of the X-Men and you want to build that really sick looking juggernaut. Um, so yeah. Uh, you can find this video as well as a ton of other cool stuff on InnerCityGeeks.com. For example, uh, Good Games with Frank and Alex. Yay Toys. The ICGPW Slamcast. A bunch of stuff. So... Uh, if you want to follow me, uh, on Twitter and Instagram, it's B-R-I underscore 2-J. Um, if you want to watch more videos, go to Yay Toys. Please subscribe. Um, you know, I pump videos out pretty much week after week. Um, I'm a big fan of toys. I'm a big collector. You know, and I love reviewing them for all you geeks out there. So, uh. 
like I said, just say hello. Uh, check out innercitygeeks.com for more. And uh, that's it for me. Peace.